in future M. Did you like your cute little animation? I made it. <laughs> um, I am on my way to the gym. Um, it is 8.15. I got up and then got ready. And now I'm just going to go get familiar with all the machines. I'm not trying to like get all the muscles on the first day. Just, I just want to know how the machines work, basically. Uh, so yeah, let's see how that works. I hope it's not too busy so I can actually record. I'm gonna have to figure out a time of day where there's zero percent humans in this place. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to drive their, I don't know, tractor down the narrowest road in the neighborhood. Good job, tractor. <sighs> I'm working at my brand new dog desk. Has a dog was a computer and reading about adversarial examples in the real world, physical world. This is cool, I didn't know this. So I've been reading about how adversarial examples, basically images that have been slightly altered in a way that humans cannot perceive um, can trick machine learning applications and it they are showing in this paper that if um, if an adversarial example is misclassified by one kind of model, it will often be misclassified by another model. This adversarial example transferability property means that it is possible to generate adversarial examples and perform a misclassification attack on a machine learning system without ever accessing the underlying model. But that also means that like the systems are performing very similarly on things. Uh, these different like classifiers. Um, well, that's interesting though. I guess I didn't realize that they were so similar that you could, you know, they use the word attack, which I think is weird, but I guess it's fair. They're trying, they're talking about like, you know, trying to get around security MLs and stuff like that. Um, but if you can fool one classifier, you can basically fool a bunch of them. Adversarial examples could in principle be applied in either of these physical domains, talking about visuals and audio. For example, a voice command that would consist of a recording that seems innocuous to humans, such as a song, but contains voice commands recognized by a machine learning algorithm. I'm talking to my camera. I want to make an exhibit almost that does adversarial um, machine learning via audio into people's phones. Um, like you carry your phone around in museums all the time and it would be interesting to see if we could play audio in a gallery and have the uh, effects be felt later by people when they're um, maybe tracked by advertisers or something. I don't know what that would be but it would, it's interesting like there are all these machine learning things running on your phone all the time. There could be interesting ways to trick them while you're in the physical location of an exhibit. Oh, oh, I know. A simple thing would just be to get the virtual agents that people have on their phone, like Hey Google and Hey Siri, um, to activate over and over again while you're in the room. Um, and that would be great because the... Um, the having the thing behave inappropriately is one of the best ways to reveal invisible systems to people. Um, or maybe not, maybe inappropriately is the wrong word, but in an unexpected way, um, really helps reveal things to people. So, yeah. Do, 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 I am making compost cookies out of the Momofuku milk bar book 
that Steve got. And they have chocolate chips and potato chips and pretzels and coffee and oats and other stuff that they don't remember. And I've made cookies tons of times. But the thing we need to remember from this recipe self is that the oven is ready. No, is that you have to cream the sugar for like 10 entire minutes for it to be successful. Also, when you use glucose, don't put it in the bowl first. Put the sugar first so the glucose has something to sit on and not just stick to the bottom of the bowl. My cookies are so pretty and they're going in the oven. Oven, 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 oven. Bam! Ooh, that's hot. Look at that, double layer. This batch won't fit in the oven, so they have to go back in the refrigerator to wait. <sighs> I forgot to show you the cookies. I'll show you them tomorrow when we eat them, but I really love editing today's video. All the little animations were really fun. So, good night, Futura. I hope you enjoyed.